Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys or unbox the brand new Shimano SLX 150 HG. This is the brand new line of reels from Shimano. Um, literally released at iCast and I finally got my hands on one and I cannot wait to share the technology uh, with you guys. So let's open up the box. You guys can see nice blue box kind of matches the reel you guys will see here in a second I'm sure most of you guys have seen um, pictures online or stuff like that but it's a pretty wicked looking reel so we have the reel we have the manuals here and all that lovely stuff and we have some oil right there that comes with every single Shimano reel let's put this box to the side over here and let's get into the reel Wow, this reel feels pretty good. As you guys can see, it's a matte black color. It has that blue SLX on the side here. It's not really bright, I would say. It's more of like a matted out blue. On the side here, actually let's start with the spool. The spool you guys can see, it's a 150 size spool. And it's a blue color, blue aluminum right there. We have a metal, I'm guessing aluminum uh, casting knob right here the control knob, tension knob, there you go. And these paddles, these are the, this, this is the same handle as the uh, Corrado K, really, wow. This is the same handle as the Corrado K and Corrado DC, I was not expecting that at all, to be honest. These knobs are very, very, very comfortable. I've been fishing with the Corrado K and the Corrado DC for a couple months now, and uh, very, very comfortable handle. But other than that, as you guys can see here, pretty sweet looking reel. This reel is very, very, very small in hand. As you guys can see, I have pretty regular woman-sized hands, and I can fit this whole reel in my hand pretty easily. It's a very, very small reel. I'm pretty sure that uh, they advertise it as being 20% uh, smaller than the Shimano Kanan, which is already a very, very small reel. I'm kind of surprised how easy it is to palm being a 150 size reel. Um, it palms it kind of reminds me of the, Sh of the Shimano Corrado 70, which is a smaller spool, obviously, and kind of kind of feels the same, like, size-wise. So the Shimano SLX has a Hagani body and features a full aluminum frame. Now, if you guys fish with the Shimano Kanan or the Shimano Casitas, uh, Shimano's $100 USD and I think $130 or $120 USD uh, reels, you guys may have realized the reels aren't extremely... Uh, solid, that's the easiest way of, of, me, of me putting it, I guess you could say. Um, that's because they have graphite frames. Graphite frames flex a little bit more. Uh, they aren't as, as much as a solid construction, I guess you could say. And uh, therefore you lose a lot of sensitivity. With the aluminum frames, like Shimano now has the SLX, uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot more rigid, obviously, than graphite. Graphite's a pretty soft metal. Um, it's a lot more rigid, has a lot less flex, and then therefore more sensitivity, so it will help you pick up those uh, those bites a little bit better. I personally own the Kanan and the Conceitas. I can tell you guys right now, without even fishing this reel, it's it feels like an absolute tank. It's super, super solid. Um, it's a lot smaller than the Kanan and the Conceitas. A lot easier to palm, and it just feels a lot better. It's the best way of me putting it. It just feels more solid. So this reel weighs in at 6.9 ounces. It has 11 pounds or 5 kilograms of drag and it comes in three gear ratios. Six gear ratio, seven gear ratio, and eight to one gear ratio. So you're pretty much set. Uh, you're pretty much set with this reel right here. Now let's talk about the brakes. So the SLX features the variable braking system or the VBS uh, system. It's, I believe it's the older uh, braking system before SVS Infinity came in. It has the six pins you guys will see right here as you guys can see if I open this guy up. It has six centrifugal brakes. So as of right now all of them are turned off. To turn them on you just snap them down just like that. When you use these brakes, like any centrifugal braking system, you do not want to turn on the ones beside each other, I guess you could say. You always want to go diagonally or across the 
across the ways. So if I just turn this one on, I turn this one on, and this one on, I have three on and three off. If I just want two, I just snap one of them off. I just want one, snap another one of them off. If I want four, go one, two, three, and then pick whichever you want, four. You just want to have it balanced throughout the spool um, just to, you know, make sure everything goes smoothly. But that is the brakes right there, the VBS system, six centrifugal brakes. Now, all in all, this reel feels a lot like a Corrado 70 to me. I fish the Corrado 70 a lot. It's on my jig rod. Um, I pitch a lot around docks with it. It's a very, very small reel. It's a 70 size spool. This is a 150 size spool. And just me holding it right now, it feels it feels pretty darn similar in hand. Um, just kind of goes to show you how small this reel really is in my hand. But uh, very, very nice feeling reel. Good looking reel in my opinion. The rods, I have yet to use one of the rods. I've seen the rods, I've held them, but I haven't used them yet. Um, they look pretty darn cool. They have like a cool like JDM slickness to them, I guess you could say. I'll eventually uh, show you guys those rods once I get my hands on them. So let's go over the pricing of this reel. This reel is going to retail for $99 USD or $139.99 Canadian. So it's a very, very um, budget-friendly reel. It's great for you, all you guys starting out fishing with bait casters. It's great for those tournament anglers that need multiple rods on deck ready to go for any situation that they may encounter. And it's a, honestly a just a great reel to have. I'm very, very excited to fish this reel. I'm going to be spooling it up with Power Pro right after I finish this video. And I'm actually going fishing with it tomorrow. I'll be fishing with it for the next couple of days. So um, in those videos, you guys will see me um, fishing it, give you guys my opinion of it a little bit more, I guess you could say. Wow, the wind's strong. But um, I'm not sure when you guys will see those videos, just because I've been filming a lot the past couple of weeks, and I do want to get this video out fast. But you guys will see. I will give you guys a full review after I use this reel. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys live near a tackle shop, um, they should be getting the SLX in pretty soon. I highly recommend before you buy any reel to go in store and play around with it to see if you like the reel, if you like the feel with it, if you like the construction, if you like how it feels in your hand. Always recommend going to store, see, check it out if you like it. Um, you can pre-order the reel right now on most big retail stores and a couple of your local shops probably. The reel will be shipping out late fall. So that's like October, November, December. That's when you guys should ex expect to get this reel in. Um, but I mean, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave a link. I'm going to leave two links down below. I'm going to leave a link to Tackle Warehouse where you guys can pre-order the reel. And I'm going to leave a link to a Canadian retailer where you guys can pre-order this reel as well. Probably a Cabela's or a sale or something like that. So all you guys here in Canada can have a sneak peek or get a look at this reel online as well. But... Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned on Instagram for updates of this reel and some fish catches. And I'll see you guys in the next one.